What's up, fellas? So I had a patient supporter want to know, should he buy girls gifts and what to get? All right, guys. So I have a confession to make. All right, right off the bat. I know some of you guys think I hate women. And I know some of you guys may hate women. But I have a confession to make. I do not hate women. All right? I do not. In a girl that I date, let me clear this shit up right now. I want to make this abundantly clear so y'all know exactly what AMS is all about. The women I date, they get all the benefits of a girlfriend. All of them. Except a commitment. That's it. I'm not about shitting on women and kicking them in the back when they walking down the street and shit and, you know, throwing dog shit on them and all this other shit. I don't worship fucking Ted Bundy, fucking mass murder female killer. All right. For all you guys, some of you guys might think that you got another thing coming. I do not fucking hate women. All right. My thing and my whole premise is I just don't commit to none. Now, it has nothing for me, for some of you guys, you know, you might have had your heart broke or whatever the case may be. So, you know, that's why. And hey, I'm not judging you, but I'm talking about me. It has nothing to do with that. Why I won't commit with women as in, oh, they're sluts. They're no good. They break your heart. They're going to fucking leave you when they found a high value male. That's not, I, that's, that has nothing to do with why I don't commit. I don't commit because I noticed a long time ago, long time ago, I'm, a old, I'm an old man now, guys. I look good, but I'm old. Long time ago, maybe 27, 28, something like that, I started to realize, man, I always get bored sleeping with the same woman after a certain period of time. I started to notice that. But like most of you guys, brainwashed thinking like, well, you're supposed to be in a relationship scarcity mindset thinking like oh this gonna be the only girl you ever gonna meet in your life so you need to make sure same thing you guys get same thing you guys think scarcity mindset relationship you watch tv relationship family all that bullshit when i got to about 27 i started to realize i don't have to be in a relationship to make me feel complete this was before i even got on my purpose guys for all you guys want this before i even knew what my passion was all right, I had a passion for working out at the time, but I, you know, I wasn't no what near making a thinking about making a living off of it. I figured that shit out then that I don't need a, a, a to have a, a a woman to complete me, not complete myself. All right, and so I lost that scarcity mindset, and I just started dating women. And for all you guys, they're gonna say, "Well, wait a minute, AMS. I thought you said if she hot enough, you you get hot all the time. You get hard all the time." All right, I get that. All right, but here's the thing. I realized too, I had some dimes, but what I realized, most dimes are garbage. Do y'all guys get that? Most dimes are not worth shit. They look good, but they bring very little to the fucking table. Very little, other than looks. They're usually self-centered, and they only care about themselves and they think like all I got to do is bring vagina to the fucking table. God forbid if you tell one of the motherfuckers to give you a, a shoulder massage. They'll do some little simple shit like this for about 10 seconds and be like, okay. All right. So on a per bringing something to the table, the best type of woman you're going to get is probably a good eight. All right. She looks good enough for you to fuck, but she's not, you know, so much into herself to well she still can be humble a good eight but guess what i get bored at fucking those when i usually all the dimes that i've ever had in my life i couldn't stand them for too long even though they hot because when you think like i think you know after that first month you start to say what else this bitch bringing to the table besides a, a pretty face and a fat ass what is when is you know, when you, you out with a girl, when is she going to say, hey, uh, I got these drinks or something like that? All right, offer. Even if you turn it down, at least offer. When is she going to say, hey, let me cook for you? Let me cook dinner for let How about I cook us dinner Sunday? When is she going to do anything but show her ass up and think she got to just look cute? All right, guys, I've been those that shit. So 
on a pure a practical level, a good humble eight is much better than most dimes. And for all the all police, because say I'm generalizing, okay, yeah, you might got one in a million dimes that's actually humble and got a good heart. But by and large, the average fucking dime thinks like every man wants me. So I can treat you like shit. Or I don't gotta bring nothing else to the fucking table. And once you become you get older, guys, you demand women to bring more to the table than that. Alright? So when I would be with these eights, they would always start to bring up the notion why we ain't having more sex. Because I'm tired of fucking your ass. That's why. All right. So then I got to a point when I was about 27, I started saying, man, why is you just getting in relationships? And then two months later, you don't even want to fuck the girls. And that's when I started to realize, well, why you got to be in a relationship? All right. So for all you family men out there and shit like that, you entitled to your opinion if you want to start a family do you i'm not judging do the fuck you want to do but i'm also entitled to be a whore if i want to so if i want to date 10 women it's a free country i can date 10 fucking women as long as i'm not lying to none of them all right guys so that's the thing with that and the thing with me saying don't lie to women has nothing to do with some moral thing it has everything to do with why why just don't commit why? It's, why are you going to tell 10 women, yeah, I'm your boyfriend, yeah? Why? There's no point to it. Why? Just tell them you open to the ideal if things work out. You know, if things go in the right direction, I'm open to the ideal. You don't got to make the actual commitment, all right? So I wanted to clear that up, guys, that for all you guys that hate women and you shouldn't buy gifts and all this other bullshit, listen. Listen. I actually treat women like human beings. I know it's shocking and oh my god, not Mr. They're all sluts. Yeah, I actually treat women like human beings. But not for the reason why you might think. I actually want them to come back. I I am too old with these old creaky ass bones to be getting my ass out in the club, shaking my ass every goddamn night, trying to constantly keep a rotation. I'm too old for that shit. Alright? I don't that them days long gone. So when I do get girls. And they decent women, I actually want to keep the motherfuckers, at least for a, a period of time until, uh, uh, until they started showing out again too comfortable. All right? Until they start getting too comfortable and stop bringing to the table what they used to bring to the table, okay, we'll talk about getting rid of their ass then. But as long as they're cooperating and they're acting feminine, I actually want them to come back. So guess what, guys? I actually treat women like fucking human beings. Shocking, isn't it? Okay, guys, so that's the thing with that. And for all you young guys and shit like that, I know this, you know, you young and you 20 years old and you can go to the club five nights a week. I done done that shit. But my old ass, listen, I can go out right now and drink some great goose at the club. Back in the day, I could do that shit. Wake up the next day, go work out and go to the club and do it all over again. I do that shit now. Now my ass the next day, I'm hydrating the whole next day. Ten cups of water and shit with my feet kicked all up in the fucking ass and shit. Dehydrating and shit. Back hurting because my kidneys and shit. Goddamn need some water and shit. I can't do that shit no more. So for all you young bucks that can go out and party and five, six nights a week and you not on your purpose and you just want to chase ass. Yeah, you can do that. I done done it. All right. But when you get my age, your ass won't be doing it. All right? Y'all see these old-ass NBA players? They'll have a good game on it. Have a good game, 35 points. Woo! You start thinking like, oh, man, he back in his prime. Next day, six points. Uh, he old. He don't recover like he used to. When he was young, he recover. Come right back the next game, 20, 25 more points. Come back the game after that, 29 points. Now when you're old, yeah, you have a good game once a month, once every two weeks, something. You ain't going to have it every game because your body just don't recover like that. So my ass is too old, so I actually want to keep some goddamn women. I ain't got time to be constantly revolving in a goddamn door. And another thing, too, why I want to actually keep women. Those first and second dates are fucking annoying to me. I hate first and second dates. If you do enough of those motherfuckers, you'll literally start to hate fucking dating. Literally. Like, I guess I did that shit so much in my 30s and shit. All those first, how y'all think I get this knowledge? All those first and second days, it started to sound like, it started to act like Groundhog Day. Y'all remember that movie Bill Murray played in Groundhog Day? That's how when you do enough of first and second, God damn, it's like Groundhog Day in this motherfucker. So where you like to travel? Well, I like to travel here. Well, what you like to do for fun? God damn, it sound like the same old script. All right, and I used to be doing that shit three times a day sometimes. So... 
you know, just the thought of doing the first date now, it's just like, ah, because you know you probably ain't going to get no ass. All right, you at the first date, the chance of you getting ass is of what? 10% slim to none. So you got to go through this damn dog and pony show. So I actually want to keep women. So I wanted to clear that up before I start saying, you know, should you buy women gifts? Yes, you should buy women gifts if they're acting feminine and they're doing what they're supposed to do. All right, for all you motherfuckers out there that got a picture of Ted Bundy on your wall, you do what the fuck you fucking want to do. All right, I'm just telling you what I fucking do. All right, so. Now I got that out of the way. Yes, I buy gifts. And the number one gift you can buy a woman, if she's cooperating and she's acting feminine, all right? Feminism is a characteristic of high interest. I do not want to buy a masculine woman with low interest, no fucking gift. Do that, Do you think a woman like that is going to buy you anything? So why the fuck would you waste your money on her? All right? So only buy something for a woman with high interest because you know it's a very good chance she's going to get you something. I'm talking about for fucking... Christmas and Valentine's. I'm not talking for random fucking days. We ain't no fucking tricks around here, alright? I ain't buying no girl no fucking gift October the 15th, alright? Unless it's her fucking birthday or something like that. I ain't doing no ra random gifts around this motherfucker, alright? I ain't running the price of right around this motherfucker, alright? So it have to be something special. Birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day, alright? And the best gift you can get a woman, guys, is always a purse. Always what I found to be one... Is always a purse. Now, don't go out there and get no gaudy looking purse that got all this ornaments and shit on it. I made that mistake before. Always, you never can go wrong with a good plain purse. All right. If you a little financially scrapped, a Michael Kors, especially if you can catch them on sale, a Michael Kors bag is good. All right. It's a name brand bag and it's a it's, it's a respectable bag. All right. And so you could get some of those Michael Kors bags for like one hundred and fifty dollars or something. And of course, they got cheaper bags. I'm just telling you the ones I know. They got other bags. I'm not a fucking bag expert. All right. I'm not a fucking female. All right. I'm just giving you the little shit that I do know. All right. If you want to if you want to become a fucking bag expert, then goddamn go to bag expert school and learn which bag. To get. I'm just giving you some simple shit. I right? always some smart ass who want to come over here. Oh, I know a person. For well, if I shut the fuck up, nobody will hear your goddamn opinion. All right, so Michael Kors bag. If you're a little financially scrapped, all right. What I always get and what always work for me is is a coach bag. And the thing with coach bag is it's not crazy high like the Louis Vuitton and Gucci bags, but it's respectable enough to where it's enough to where it's not like you being cheap. Michael Kors, a girl won't think you being Michael Kors. Now, obviously, any girl that dates me now I know I make decent. So she might think, you know, if I get a Michael Kors bash, I'm being cheap or whatever. But every woman pretty much knows what you make or give or take. She have a good estimate. And so if you somebody who make 30 grand a year and you go buy a woman a Michael Kors bag, it's what I did when I did security, by the way. Um, then... It's, it's, it should be fine, all right, because they know I don't make no fucking money like that, all right, but once I started training at the gym and I'm driving a fucking Mercedes and shit like that, you know, I started getting girls coach bag, plain coach, no crazy, no logo, all that crazy shit, because most women are conservative and they don't want all that shit, uh, just a plain coach bag or something like that. A coach bag will run you probably around 300 You could catch it on sale maybe for 250 or whatever, all right? And if you're somebody who's been with a girl a long time and you make decent money, you can go and do the Louis Vuitton or Gucci. But y'all, typically speaking, most of my girls, a year, two tops right now. All right? Really, a year less right now. All right? So, a coach bag would do good, guys. When you get to doing jewelry and shit, all right? Like, say you buy a girl a, a ring or something. See, if you go buy it, if you spend that $300 on a ring... She gonna be like, what this little? She ain't gonna say it to your face, but she gonna be thinking this little piece of shit. All right, to get a respectable diamond ring, you probably gonna be looking at bare minimum six, seven hundred dollars. I'm talking about, and that's bare minimum for a decent ring, right? If you would have spent that same six, seven hundred dollars on a bag, you'll oh man, woo! You probably talking about a nice Prada bag or something. All right, she would have appreciated that much more than that little piece of shit diamond, six, seven hundred dollars. When you start to my jewelry, you got to get into the thousands for it to be a nice gift. All right, you much better stick into bags. All right, you can go out and spend a hundred and fifty dollars on a little piece of shit diamond, or you would have spent that same hundred and fifty on a Michael Kors bag, and she would have liked it a lot more. I remember one time, you know, I ain't know much. Just when I was young, like maybe 24, 25, I bought my girl out. 
had a long term relationship with, like a six hundred dollar ring. She wore that shit like two days, and I ain't. She had that she put that shit on her jewelry because it was. She didn't want to hurt my feelings. A piece of shit ass cluster diamond ring. But had I spent that on a purse, oh, she would have loved it. All right, guys. So you can never go wrong with a fucking purse. All right, never. Just. See what you uh, like to wear, but more than that, you can't really go wrong with a Michael Kors bag if you're if you're a little bit on the financially scrap side, and a coach if you on the if you financially doing well for yourself. All right, uh, unless you've been with a girl like five or ten years and you make good money, I really don't see no need to go up into the Gucci and Louis Vuittons and shit like that. If you make a quarter million dollars a year and you've been with your girl five or ten years and she a good woman, knock yourself out. All right, maybe I would do it too. All right, but y'all guys know that all my shit is pretty much. Short term for the most part Just not so fucking short term To where my ass gotta be out Goddamn in the damn club every fucking week I'm too fucking old for that shit I ain't got time Girls be like after we go out to dinner on Saturday and shit, You wanna go to a club? Hell no we going home Shit I'm tired shit My ass too old for that shit So you know that's the thing with that guys Alright so for all you young guys Hey maybe you wanna keep a steady circle and shit I done done all that bullshit Quite frankly that don't even really interest me that much no more all right. That, another thing is, once you find your purpose and find something you passionate about, that chasing ass, different ass all the time, it loses its luster. All right, it loses its luster. Don't get me wrong, I still like my rotation and shit, but just being an ass chaser, twenty four seven and shit, it just don't do it for me like it did, you know, five years ago. It just don't. All right. Since I found my passion in, at the gym and shit like that, right there. I, I'm chasing ass the way I did alone. It just don't. It don't fascinate me the way I used to. It seemed like a. It, it seemed like a waste of time, quite frankly. All right. I love different ass and shit like that. But just chasing ass like that. You look up and you be 40 years old and you ain't got shit and wondering why. All right, guys. So that's the thing with that. All right, guys. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holla back.